uh, FG here again, uh, out in one of my two favorite rooms in the house. Uh, this is the garage. Uh, the other one is my library. Maybe that'll show up in one of the future videos, perhaps. Anyhow, uh, so uh, project uh, next here, uh, as promised, or as well, maybe mentioned, perhaps. Anyway, uh, something that my wife has been asking for, the boss for, well, just about as long as I've had the truck when I told her that I was going to put side steps on, uh, which she had actually requested because the, the truck's kind of tall and uh, she's like 5'2". And then after I mentioned that it was going to get a 2-inch lift, well, yeah, that was, um, okay, there's no way I'm going to be able to get into this thing anymore. So side steps one on the list. So the uh, eye armor side steps got installed back in uh, 2018. Uh, so to go along with that now, I have installed uh, two five-foot long LED strip lights. And this was kind of a triple project. Um, one of the cargo lamps in the back had, uh, had failed um, due to my own mistake. I had not waterproofed the uh, third brake lamp assembly sufficiently and a little bit of water got in there and actually wrecked one of the LEDs so while I had that apart I went ahead and installed a LED in the uh, brake lamp um, the, the uh, center red one uh, obviously uh, and along with that I tied into the cargo lamp circuit uh, some wires and dropped those down I showed those um, <clears throat> excuse me in the video when I was uh, explaining um, about the uh, tailgate electric mechanism and how I had set that up and so I had run those wires all at the same time and I had also left the rear seat uh, torn apart uh, as far as the trim panels so that I could get back in there and install some more of the sound deadening so I showed you that uh, in the other video called uh, silence um, part one and part two where I installed the uh, uh, Silas um, noise damping material and so that was one of the the three-part projects, uh, the electric uh, lock, as I mentioned, on the tailgate being project two, and getting these lamps installed uh, under the uh, steps uh, was project three, and I think that uh, they all came out quite well. Um, I do plan probably on getting it underneath the truck again sometime in the future, and probably clean up the wiring a little bit. I ended up um, with a harness that was longer than necessary, so I looped it and uh, wire tied it up real tight up against the chassis so that it wouldn't snag on uh, any branches or other obstacles while off-roading but I really don't think that uh, it looks as clean as I'd like so I think I'm gonna get under there sometime and go ahead and clean that up but that's certainly not going to affect the operation of these so in my first video here uh, that you'll be seeing in a few seconds I'm posting during the daytime and uh, so you can see the uh, actual um, construction of the part itself a little more clearly and when they do turn on and off uh, even in the daylight here it's uh, just past five o'clock so it's starting to get a little bit of shadowing um, they they're, they're definitely noticeable when they're on or off but at night obviously um, is where they if you, if you pardon the pun here they uh, they really uh, shine outside again uh, with the remote control and uh, triggering the door lock, which uh, turns on the, uh, the cargo lamps. Anybody that has a Frontier knows that. Um, but now is also tied into uh, whatever you'd like to call these puddle lamps, um, dirt lamps, door lamps, what, whatever people call these. Uh, it just illuminates the whole area around the door. And I'm really quite pleased. Uh, the whole kit was just over $20. It came with uh, a switch and the uh, wiring harness. Uh, also included three of the five foot LED strips. I only ended up using two of them, so I still have one left over. And uh, it was re really a really good deal. Uh, hopefully these are fairly durable. They seem to be pretty well constructed. Uh, as I mentioned in uh, the written notes, um, they are a, a flexible uh, silicone type material on the outer uh, shell and uh, really quite flexible um, so they're easy to work with and if you need to uh, bend them to uh, to conform a little bit to uh, to go around objects uh, that, that bending and conforming is actually really easy 
Uh, they claim that they come with 3M adhesive. Well, we'll, we'll see. Um, <laughs> the backing tape was red, which yes, 3M does usually use red backing tape. Uh, but I didn't see a 3M stamp anywhere on it, and I've heard of other things on eBay advertising themselves as 3M, and they turned out that they actually were not. They were imitation. So we'll see. But anyway, regardless of all of that, if it does become necessary to deal with the adhesive uh, sometime in the future, I don't really see that as being a big deal as long as the lamps continue to operate. And I did go ahead and actually wrap wire ties around the body of the strip in a couple of places, especially at the leading edge where I figure, uh, you know, um, any uh, impact damage from an object or um, higher speed, uh, you know, your, your wind drag would try to, to uh, go ahead and peel that, try to delaminate it from the uh, mounting surface. Uh, so that should uh, keep everything well locked down and in place and uh, so that's basically this project that wasn't super difficult and it wasn't super exciting uh, running the wiring underneath the chassis really was uh, the biggest challenge as it usually is okay everyone so here as promised I know they're not real easy to see in the daytime but if you get really far close here you can see that they go underneath step and come along here and run all the way down the side and end right underneath there. I'm going to grab my remote here and obviously you're not going to get the full effect here because this is the first half of the video. This is only daylight but they do light up pretty nice. Obviously they're visible in the daytime but at night is when, uh, obviously, they, <laughs> if you pardon the pun, uh, really shine. So I'll be back, well, in what your time will be only a couple seconds, but in real time will be three or four hours when it's finally dark here in Maryland. And I will show you what the throw pattern on the ground looks like with them on and off. So there we are, and see everyone soon. And there are the step lights. This is probably going to drive the camera a little insane, so hopefully this comes out. Filming at night is always difficult. Alright, so here we are everyone, uh, as I had said the video would be in three pieces. I tried filming last night when it was actually dark and it was actually too dark. <laughs> the truck completely was invisible until I turned on the lights, so it was kind of a useless video in a way really. So here it's a little bit earlier, it's just about 8.30 and the sun's almost gone but it's still kind of in a twilight area. So I'm going to give you a view. Um, you've all seen the truck before, so obviously you can just zoom in from the from the front, from the fender there. I'm just going to kind of sweep down the door here. <clears throat> give you a view in passing. And coming through here. To the rear. And then I'm going to fade back and let you see what's happening ground level. Obviously, as I pointed out, it's not completely dark outside yet, so you don't get the full effect, but I would say that the usable throw is probably about three feet from the side of the truck out. So definitely when it's completely dark and you fire these up, it will most definitely be very helpful for passengers boarding if they're unsure of their footing 
uh, to be able to definitely clearly see where the whatever you want to call sidestep running board where the um, sills are so that you don't go to step up and miss so that completes this video and I hope this might inspire you perhaps to consider doing a project like this on your own as well uh, like I said the kit was only $21 and uh, you'll need uh, you know wire and solder and electrical tape and things like that but if you're doing any electrical projects you probably have all of those things in your inventory already so if you were to just go from there um, you would uh, you'd probably have everything you need except for the kit so if that inspired you have at it and uh, leave me a comment please if you do decide to uh, to do so I'd, I'd like to know if uh, any of these videos are actually helping with other people's projects that would be great